Thank you for being with us on this election night 2024. We begin with breaking news. King Five is calling the race for governor for Democrat Bob Ferguson. We now go live to a watch party where Bob Ferguson is speaking. And I appreciate Dave Reichert stepping up and running for governor. He ran a hard fought campaign. Please join me in a big round of applause and thanking Dave Reichert for his many years of service to the people of the state of Washington. Thank yous. Let's get up for Governor Jay Inslee and Trudy Inslee. Now, look, campaigns are a family operation. And as some of you know, I'm from a large family of seven kids. All of my siblings are here tonight, along with my extended family of in-laws and cousins and nephews and nieces. Please thank them for supporting me throughout this political campaign and all my campaigns. And speaking of family, I'm joined by my wife, Colleen. Who was, when I first ran for office against a 20-year incumbent, went doorbelling with me on a cold January day that very first time. We called those doorbelling dates. And she gave me, for my first campaign kickoff 20 years ago, the crowd was a little bit smaller than this, Colleen, I think. She gave me this red tie as a good luck tie. So please get for Colleen, a great educator, a great mom, a wonderful spouse. And we're joined by our twins who we're very proud of, Jack and Katie, who, <laughs> who created a popular Instagram page for the campaign that many of you follow. We have a cat named Peter, the Instagram page is Peter for first cat of Washington State. Peter now has more Instagram followers than I do. Find him on Instagram and follow. Peter for first cat. Look, Jack and Katie starred in our first campaign ad. You saw them in that first ad. Katie appeared in that ad with her entire softball team. Her team's in the house. Seattle Spice, the coaches. And Jack appeared in that ad alongside me on a trail with our backpacks on. Jack and I are working on climbing the 100 highest peaks in Washington. And Jack, I'm looking forward to more peaks this summer, right? We'll knock them off. Now look, Jack knows that climbing a mountain, a challenging mountain, begins with a fundamental truth. You start with the first step. And tomorrow morning, we're going to get up and start that first step of transitioning to a new administration to be your governor to fight for you every step of the way. And here's what you can expect from me as your next governor. I will lead a government that protects our core freedoms. That makes the lives of Washingtonians a little bit better. That cuts down on bureaucracy that gets in the way of serving the people. That makes our community safer and healthier. That works for the people, not special interests. And that generates more opportunities for the next generation of Washingtonians. Now let me conclude my remarks with the story that I said, that I told when I first announced my campaign for governor. I was at a conference once, years ago, and it was a panel of former governors who were on this panel. And they'd long left politics. They were no longer running for office. And it was a fascinating panel. And somebody asked them a great question. Do you have any regrets from your time being governor of your state? And each one of them gave the same version of an answer, which was basically saying, I regret that I pulled my punches on big issues. I regret that I let political considerations dissuade me from moving forward in a way that someone had told me was the right thing to do. I want to be clear to each and every one of you and to the people of the great state of Washington, I will not have that regret as your governor. As your attorney general with a fantastic team, we fought for you every single day. We did not pull our punches. And as your governor, as your governor, I will center you each and every one of you, red counties, blue counties, Republicans, Democrats, independents, you are top of my mind. I'm thinking of you, we'll advocate for you, we'll make Washington even a greater state than it is today. Thank you so much, everybody. Let's go get them. Thanks, everybody.